enjoy it and want to read more. So I have been fairly new to science fiction for the last year. I have been trying out lots of different types to see what I have enjoyed and what I haven't enjoyed and I feel like I'm at a point where I am enjoying science fiction as a whole now and I know what works for me and I know what doesn't. So I have quite a few different recommendations based on what you want to get out of your science fiction reading. I have a few that are YA so they're fun, they're light, they're easy to get into. I have a few that are humorous, they might be something more exciting, fun for you to enjoy. I have one or two that are dystopian in feel, if you like that sort of thing, and I have a few that are just plain, weird science fiction and fantasy crossovers. So let's get started. The group will be linked below, so if you want to get involved in this series, feel free to go and look at the topics and get involved. We love anyone who wants to join, whether you have a booktube channel or a blog, feel free to join in with us. The first one that I have to recommend to you is a YA and I think this is a good starting point if you have read a lot of YA before and you want to try science fiction or if you're just very new to science fiction and you want to get something easy as a beginning to it. This one is On the Edge of Gone by Corin Dubis. I really enjoyed this. I read this very recently and it's a story that I wasn't expecting to enjoy as much as I did but I really really did. It's about this young girl on the front cover who is called Denise. She is autistic and she's in a world which is about to end, which doesn't bode particularly well for anyone. And she and her mother are on their way to a shelter underground where they can live out the end of the world, which is this gigantic comet coming to Earth, probably going to destroy a lot of stuff, send out shockwaves, ruin the atmosphere and do a lot of damage to the sustainability of Earth and the people who live on it. So we follow the character of Denise as she and her mother try to find the shelter and get sidetracked along the way, end up discovering much more than they bargained for, and then have to deal with the ramifications of what happens during and after this massive comet hits the earth. It's a fantastically diverse story with some really great characters from all walks of life. We have autism, we have LGBTQ plus involved in characters, we also have characters from different backgrounds and trans characters and there's a lot of exciting things that go on in the plot. It's fast paced, it's something easy to get into. I read this in two sittings and it's a very very quick read so if you want something that's light and fun and has diverse characters this is your go-to because it has all of that and I really would recommend this as a read anyway but particularly if you want to get into science fiction it's a great start point. The next one that I have on my list is Leviathan Wakes. This is the first one in the Expanse series by James S. A. Corey which is actually Ty Frank and Daniel Abram. You may have seen that this was recently adapted into a TV series and I think the TV series is decent from what I've seen in the first two episodes. I haven't watched any more than that yet so I don't know if it continues to be good. This series is definitely what I would call a sort of space opera series. If you like something that is light and mysterious, then this is also probably a really good route in because it's something that's easy to follow in terms of narrative structure. It's not got too much scientific technical stuff going on. You don't have to know an awful lot about science to get this or understand this. It really does depend upon you just having a bit of common sense and being able to connect with the world that they have set up or the worlds I should say because it's interplanetary travel and with the characters that we're following it's multiple POV so you have a few storylines that will eventually come together but as I say this definitely has a sort of crime element a mystery element to it if you're not interested in that then it might not be for you but if you want something that's sort of got a focus other than science fiction but is set in a science fiction world then this is that it's got mysterious elements environmental factors and kind of crazy characters but it does have scientific space exploration and it does have some technology that is quite 
weird and crazy and allows crazy things to happen. So if you want to sort of experience a bit of space opera adventure around space, but you don't want anything too hardcore science fiction, this is probably a good one to go for. The next one I have on my list is actually considered to be hard science fiction, but for me this was very easy to get into and I've heard it said from many people that this one is easy to get into. That was our winner from the last year, BookTube SFF Awards, and it is The Martian by Andy Weir. I would say whether you are a hard science fiction fan or a soft science fiction fan, this will entertain you because it's focusing on one single astronaut who gets stranded on the planet of Mars on his own and has to survive. It's told through diary entries mostly and we also get a little look in at NASA and the fact that they are monitoring this guy up on Mars on his own although they don't realise he's there for a while. He has to endure all sorts of things and whilst he is enduring these he is explaining how it's all working to you. So you do get some hard science fiction technology. We learn about how he is surviving on Mars on his own which is quite a feat but it's easy to understand and the way that he explains it and the way that he is quite cynical and funny about his situation really really works in terms of getting the humour and the lightheartedness across as well as the hard technical side of it. I don't think this is a challenge to read, I think this is quite easy if you have a basic understanding of science to understand. Even though I didn't study it any further than GCSE, I got everything in this book and I felt like it was perfectly understandable as a narrative and as a technological side of things. I didn't feel like this was too advanced for me and I would say if you want hard science fiction but you want an easy way into hard science fiction this is a good one for that. The next one I have on my list kind of borders into science fiction it's a little bit of dystopian a little bit of sci-fi I'm gonna include it even though it's a bit more dystopian than science fiction and that is Wool by Hugh Howey this is a series which is set underground it's very dystopian like I say the world has for some reason gone into a chaotic state that is not habitable and we focus on some characters who live in a silo underground and they get glimpses of the sky outside but they know it's not habitable so they have managed to create a sustainable population living underground in this silo. It's a really interesting dynamic, it's definitely something that I found fascinating to read about, the way that they had engineered things to work underground in this kind of crazy situation, this apocalyptic almost situation. And I really enjoyed the characters within this. Again, it has some sort of mystery elements to it, but mostly I just thought this was a really cool story and had some really cool ideas and was kind of creepy at times as well. I definitely felt like there were moments that creeped me out a bit and I still need to continue with this series. I'm definitely excited to do so, but I do think this one is a really good way in if you like dystopian fiction and you want to read more sci-fi dystopian crossovers, this one is a good entry point for that. The next one I have on my list is God's War, which is by Cameron Hurley. This is the first one in her Belle Dame Apocrypha series. And if you like weird stuff, this is your go-to. This is kind of a bit sci-fi, a bit fantasy, a bit of a crossover mishmash, but it works really well. It has some really cool female characters who focus the story on. And it definitely is an interesting world because a lot of the power is through bug technology. Technology that is made through squished up bug energy. It's weird, it's definitely bizarre, but it works and it's a fun series. Cameron Hurley always comes up with a very ingenious original ideas and I think she can follow through on that in this series. I've only read the first one, but I definitely enjoyed it. It has some really interesting, ingenious ways of going around circumventing technology that we have today and using new exciting crazy kind of ideas that help solve problems of not having enough energy and things like that and it's just kind of a crazy story as well it kind of works as just a really weird story and something that is exciting so if you like weird stuff and you like sort of sci-fi fantasy crossovers maybe this one is one for you to try out. The final one that I have on my list is one I think you should try if you like light-hearted humorous stuff and you just want a really funny crazy weird mostly funny story and that is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. This originally was a radio show and it definitely has humour that you can tell has been bounced off of other people and made them laugh it's witty, it's crazy, it's set in a really, really bizarre setting. We have a grumpy old man who lives on Earth and his neighbour who is an alien 
and the alien realises the Earth is about to die because it's being threatened. So the alien decides he needs to leave the planet, but in order to do that, he also needs his grumpy old man neighbour to help him. Arthur Dent goes with the alien, and they go on an absolutely wacky, bizarre space adventure all around the galaxy. It's absolutely insane, but it works, and it makes you laugh, and it's entertaining, and it has so many good moments, and so many good characters, and so many funny lines that I would say if you like humour, this is a great one to try out, and it's very light on the science fiction elements, the technology is not too heavy, but there is some really bizarre stuff that happens, and we have all sorts of things like a depressed robot to contend with, so again, one I would definitely say is an easy start point to science fiction. Those are my recommendations, I will also have a video coming soon which are my favourite science fiction, so if you haven't seen some of the ones you were expecting to see, it's because I didn't want to repeat myself, check out that video coming very soon to see my all-time favourite science fiction books to date, and I will also have a video coming up next week which talks about some of the science fiction books I'm excited to get to, and I need your help choosing which ones to go for, so let me know down below if you've tried any of the ones I've mentioned, and if you have what you thought of them. I hope that this will give you some good start points to science fiction if you want to get into it. Thank you all for watching, don't forget to go and link your video in the Goodreads group if you have also done one of these, I'd love to see it, I will put the link below, and I will see you all again next time. Bye! Me and you gonna have a little chat about the